$40, no, no, let me not. Hey y'all, I'm back. So today we have a BoxyCharm unboxing. We are gonna do two boxes in one. And the only reason why we're gonna do this is because I told you guys in my last video, if you haven't checked it out, check that out. It's the Profusion unboxing, the uh, Let's Brunch uh, unboxing and um, application, I guess I would say. So I told you guys that I did subscribe to BoxyCharm again. And I really wanted to kind of talk to you about the quality of boxes that I got this time. And um, I'm disappointed, <laughs> okay, to say the least. So um, that's why I wanted to show you both boxes in one video. We're gonna be using things out of both boxes and doing both unboxings um, and outlining here. Uh, just so I can compare the boxes to kind of show you what my premium is what my base box is. So with BoxyCharm, you have the option of three different subscriptions. One is gonna be the base box, which is $25. The second is gonna be box, the premium box, which is $35, and then you have the Lux. Previously, you guys have known that I've always subscribed to all three of them, but the quality kind of started to change. So I was like, uh, you know, oh, not only the quality, but I got some palettes that were swatched. And it took a long time for them to replace it, and I just was not here for that. So. That's the number one reason why we're gonna be opening up both of these boxes and probably why I won't be moving forward with them, but I'll kind of talk about the details in a minute. So, you guys, if you have not seen, okay, look at this hair, baby. This blue. Okay. I am in love with this hair, you guys. It is a 16 inch. Whew. Baby, and it's actually Body Wave, custom color by me. This is a unit that you can get on my site, Mateus Hair Extensions. So if you haven't checked that out, go over to the site, check it out. I have so many other goodies on there. All of the units, um, the custom units actually come with the baby hairs, um, with like uh, the plucked hairline and the the knots bleached, as well as uh, the custom color if you choose to get that. So. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start here. We're going to actually be doing starting off a little bit different. So I have a primer and I'm going to be working on that. That's actually in one of the boxes, but we're going to be working with this today. So I actually picked this up. This is a Kiss uh, Color Perfecting Palette. And let me see if I can open this up. So this is what it looks like. I haven't dipped into it at all, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna be using this color here and I wanted to try it out because I felt like even though I have full coverage foundations, I still feel like, you know, some of the spots, even though they are getting better, um, I just feel like some of the spots could be corrected um, a lot easier if I did decide to color correct and I never really have before, not on myself. So I'm gonna be using this color and we're gonna get started on the unboxing, but this is what you guys are gonna see me do it in the video. So the first box, this is the BoxyCharm base box. This is the $25 subscription. So this is April. And as you guys know, the theme is Sweet Treats, which I thought was so cute. You guys, I thought that was so adorable. So let's kind of get into some of the products that are in here. So the first thing that kind of jumps out to me is this Kinder Glow. So this is actually an eyeshadow palette, which I think is super cute. So it's the highlight, highlight palette. So it's not an eyeshadow palette, it's a highlight. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Okay, so this is what the highlight palette looks like. As you can see, it's super cute packaging. I really love it. It's kind of like a blush pink color, and I really, really like and enjoy that. So let's kind of open it up and see. So there was a plastic cover over it, it just fell. These are some of the colors that you're gonna be able to use to highlight. This first one here is called Gracious. This one is Angel, this top one. This one is lovely, and the uh, last in the right corner is gonna be kindly. So I'm gonna do like slight swatches of these. So this is the marble color. That is um, Angel. 
And then I'm gonna do Gracious next, which is a kind of like a true gold. And that's that one. That color is Loving. Is it Lovingly? Or no, Loving. And then let's come over here. Oh no, that was Kindly. And we'll do a swatch of that. So all very beautiful right off hand. I know that this is gonna be the color for me. So I'm definitely gonna use this one today. And this one is gonna be Loving. Yeah. So, ooh, I'll try it. Okay, so the next part is gonna be lashes and they are flirtatious look or monarch lashes. Can you see that? I like that there's an applicator in here. These are kind of simple for me, uh, but maybe they're more natural because sometimes I do feel like I don't necessarily wanna go with super crazy lashes, but those are it. We are gonna use these today. The second is Madly. This says that it's a Ever Color eyeshadow stick and it's ultra velvet. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, it's ultraviolet. I don't know how I feel about this, y'all. Do y'all see that? Well, like, what's up with that? I don't know. I don't know. But um, <clears throat> the next product is gonna be by Pharmacy. It's the Holy Grail Ultra Hydrating fi uh, Facial Oil. Okay, so this is what the Holy Grail oil looks like. I'm not gonna open it just because I know that, so I do have oily skin and I am gonna give this away to my sister. She actually really loves facial oils. It's in a nice frosted glass bottle and it's a really cute uh, packaging. So I know I'm not gonna keep it, so I'm not gonna open it. I know even, well, let me do it just a drop. So this is what the oil, ooh, it does feel good. It kind of, it kind of feels like lip gloss, like a very light lip gloss. It doesn't really have, I mean, it has a smell, but it kind of smells natural. So it just gives the skin a sheen. Um, I'm gonna be giving this one away because facial oils don't really work for me because they clog, it, uh, sometimes they can be pore clogging. My skin just don't like them, so not gonna work with that. So the next product I'm so excited about, I saw this in some of the spoilers and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm looking to try out some new uh, primers. And so I really wanted to try this out for you guys. So I'm happy this was in the box. This is what it looks like. The packaging is so adorable. And look at how big this is, like, oh wait. Okay, so maybe it's not that big, but um, I really like the jar. Uh, it's super cute. And um, this is the, let me see if I can find it. Uh, Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Prim uh, Primer. So let's see if I can open it. But I really have been wanting to try out new primers, especially with us all wearing masks. So when I open it, it looks like it comes like that. It looks so cute and jelly. It kind of looks like an edge control, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. Oh, it has fragrance in it. Oh. Um, so it looks super cute and I'm excited to try this out. I am gonna try this out today. I am gonna try this out today with a look. I'm gonna put that on and then we're gonna get to color correcting. I actually wanna go ahead and unbox the other box. Let's actually talk about the price of some of these. So this pharmacy um, honey grill hydrating face oil is $48. It retails for $48. This In Touch Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer uh, retails for $32 and there's a lot of product in here so I kind of see that for sure. The next one is the 
uh, Molly Beauty Eye Shadow Stick. This retails for $25. <sighs> um, the next one is the Lashes. These retail for $38, which is not too bad because you get two in there. And the um, Kinder Glow Highlighting Palette retails for $15. So that's nice. Okay, you guys. So this next part of the video, I got the hiccups, so excuse me. It's, I have no words. Well, I have a lot of thoughts, but okay. So this next box is gonna be what is supposed to be the premium box. You guys, let me show you this box. Do you see this box? At first, I thought this was my add-on. Do you, do you see this box? Let's look at this box in comparison to the base box. This is the premium. And to prove, this is the base box. This is what all those products came in. And this is my premium box. Okay? The $35 box. This is the $35 box, y'all. I reached out to them and I said, hey, you know, I think I may have gotten another base box or something. Uh, they were like, no, uh, that's that's the box you were supposed to get. And I said, hmm, well, I don't see why I would pay $35 for something that's smaller, um, not only in size, but it's the same retail value as the base box because you're supposed to get more pack products or even larger products. So I was a little confused, not, no, I was a lot of confused and I was really disappointed. So let's kind of get into it again. You know, this is the card you receive. This is the first thing that I received. It's the um, reusable bamboo makeup remover pads. These retail for, this isn't even on the card. Um, so the next product is gonna be the Wonder Beauty. And the Wonder Beauty, this is a overnight repair concentrate. So this is what the Wonder Beauty product looks like. It's super cute in the packaging. Nice. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, this is a retinoid. It says it diminishes the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and uneven skin tone and texture. Okay, so I may use this. I may. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll alternate it with some of the other things. I kind of feel like I have a good regimen right now, and I'm just trying to get the spots to go away. So I don't know if I'm going to be using this, but let's actually see. Um, I'm going to put this on the... Okay. So let's see. That was a lot of products for just one pull. But I guess you have to do your whole face. So. You know what this this smells like? Like <clears throat> very plant-based type uh, products. There's a company I won't say their names because I don't support them. But um, there is a company that has like a uh, plant-based. Um, like hair products and different things like that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what it smells like. The next product is going to be this Marc Jacobs. So this is actually going to be a glitter liquid eyeshadow. So we might actually use this today. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. Uh, shimmy dip is the color and let's see I'm gonna put it on this hand because I've done my, all my swatches here so. Ooh. talk about bright that is a very bright gold so it's very pigmented so that's nice the next product is gonna be the Amethyst is a roll-on lip gloss. What's well, a set of two roll-on lip gloss? 
glosses. And this is cool. I mean, I usually don't. Oh, it has crystals inside. So it looks like, okay. So there's two different ones. I know that this is amethyst, but they're both amethyst. So me, oh, oh, amethyst and rose quartz. That's why I was saying the pink kind of looked like rose quartz. So this is amethyst and this is rose quartz. Um, I'm not gonna open this because I know I'm not gonna use it today, but I probably will just toss this in my purse as an everyday lip gloss or something. So it's nice, it's pretty cute to have those in there. The next product is the Natasha Denona Matte Concealer. This is what the box looks like. Let's open it up. So this is actually would be like a contour color for me. I think um, I actually just picked up one that is this shade uh, from e.l.f. And I haven't used that one, but I don't know if I'm going to give this to my sister because she's a little bit deeper than me. Um, oh, it looks like some of the product isn't mixed up. Y'all see that difference? It's probably need a shake or something. Let me figure. It's like the oils or something isn't mixing. Mm. I don't know, or it's old. It could be that too. The next product is gonna be the Dose of Colors. I think this is an eyeshadow pencil, or not an eyeshadow, a lip pencil. It's a lip liner, yeah. All right, so the Dose of Color lip liner, this retails for $14, and that's super affordable, so I really like that. Let's actually open it up. Oh, it's so cute, y'all, look at that. All right, so let's see if we can, so there's like a little twist part at the bottom. Let's see if we can twist it. There's also this, um, oh, it's a cap. So if I had kept going, I would have smushed this thing. Okay, all right, so here we go. Oh, that's nice. That is a beautiful color and it's super creamy, like that. Love the packaging. This is nice. I like this a lot. So $14. The Lux and Willow reusable makeup pads. Oh, those are it. Okay, so these actually retail for $20. Uh, I don't like to do too much tugging on my eyes, so I don't know if I'm gonna use these. I assume they would be more gentle, so we'll see. Um, the Crystal Ball uh, Roller Gloss. These retail for $24, so that's cute. I mean, I don't know, I, when I pick it up, let's see if we can get it. So the crystals do move, do you guys see that? So I mean, if I seen it out somewhere, I might pick it up. Uh, the Marc Jacobs Beauty, this retails for $26. I mean, it's really pigmented, so it's just kind of like, is it gonna, oh, it's dried already. No moves, no transfers, nice. All right, so the next part is this Natasha Denona Concealer. This is $26. And the Wonder Beauty, this is actually $68, y'all. So in theory, I guess, oh, this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six products. So premium does say that it's about anywhere from like six to eight products. So they hit the mark, barely, barely. And I guess this is like supposed to be like a more top product, more expensive product. But I've gotten like, what is the, the 111 skin that's like, oh, this is $125 and I've still gotten like an eyeshadow palette or I've still gotten multiple products and it's been in my same box. So maybe they're trying to cut down on the size of the box, but this didn't do it for me. So I was really disappointed. So we're gonna get into the look. I am gonna go ahead and prime my skin here and I'll be back with y'all. So right off hand, this primer, I mean, it feels okay. It just feels like a gel kind of consistency, like a matte-ish type gel. Um, and then 
it has a really strong perfumey smell and if you guys are sensitive have sensitive skin i don't know how well this is going to do or you're sensitive to smells it's kind of kind of giving me a headache just a little bit that's how strong the smell is so we're going to move on to the next product Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna go in with this palette to highlight. And as I mentioned in the video before, I'm gonna go into this loving pa uh, color right here. Ooh, it's a nice natural sheen. But you know me, <laughs> got to do the same as well. Okay, so since I don't have an eyeshadow palette that I can work with to build my foundation, I'm gonna go in with this, but I'm gonna prime my lids first. This is the Artistry palette, or the Viseart Artist Artistry palette, I believe it is, I'm not sure. Okay, so now that I've primed my lids, I'm gonna go in with this Viseart palette and kind of lay a foundation with this color here and maybe here, maybe even a little there. I don't know, I think this may warm it up a little bit too much, but we are gonna use that Marc Jacobs color just to kind of get some pizzazz in here. All right, so.
And to think about it, I'm actually gonna go ahead and warm it up with this color right here. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with this Marc Jacobs color and I'm actually gonna make this my lid color today. Okay, so it has successfully dried. So what I'm gonna go back in is into that more warm color and kind of touch up around it, even though this is like a different texture, you can still go around and touch it up. Kind of clean that up. So I'm gonna do the same on this side too. And just around there, just a little bit. All right, so it kind of is giving me sunrise vibes. So I'm actually gonna bring some of that warm color underneath my lid and using a smaller brush. So that looks beautiful. I'm still gonna do a highlight color or a highlight in the inner corner of my eyes. I know it's like old school a little bit now, but I'm still gonna do it. So that was this color here on the inner corners. So now I'm gonna go in with this particular pencil. I feel like this is a little light. Um, it's kind of a nude vibe, but we're gonna go ahead and line with the lips here with this Dosa Color Pencil. Okay, so this pencil is actually not going up any further. Oh, it twists at the top. Okay, so I don't know why I was twisting this, or it kind of, it makes sense though, but you gotta twist at the top. This ain't gonna work. So now I'm gonna go in with this lip gloss. It's very sheer, but it's a beautiful color. Oh yeah. I don't know why I said it was sheer, it's not sheer. All right, you guys, so I don't know if you can tell, but I do have these lashes on. They are the smallest lashes I've ever worn in my entire life. 
They look like uh, kitty lashes. However, I'm not mad. And I'm telling you why. It's because a lot of times the lashes that I normally wear, I'm kind of looking for like a happy medium between super glam and big lashes. And then these itty bitty ones. Because I feel like, um, I don't like on my eyeshadow. I put all this work into my eyeshadow and you usually can't see it until I look down or do all this. And I like that you can see this with these lashes. So even though they're super small, even though they're super small, I feel like I can get into them and I'm not mad. Like I'm not, I'm not mad. So $38 though, I ain't doing that. And I'm gonna tell you why. So if you go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx, they have these little combos all the time. And um, some, you know, maybe even a little bit more popping. So I actually chose the top one. The little uh, tool was simple and nice. So let's kind of do a review. Okay, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, I'm trying to get this head together. Okay. Ooh, baby. Can I get a look in the body? Without the freeze, though. <clears throat> I think I'm doing too much. Am I? Okay, so this is the final look. And I love it. Okay, so let's kind of talk about some things that I like, some things I'm not sure on, and things I don't like. So this palette is super, I mean, it's cool. Um, let me try it. Cause sometimes, you know, with these, they look better once you set your face. So now that I put it on, after I've set my face, it's cool. You know, so I like this, it's simple enough and the packaging is really cute, so I like it. Um, what's the other thing? So couldn't get into this pencil just because it's not the right shade for me, or it is, but I would have to line it with something else and maybe use it in the center as a base. So this pencil's okay, it's only $14. I'll probably go on and see. I'll probably try to go on and see if I can find some other colors that I like, um, but $14 is a really great price point. So the other thing, this Marc Jacobs. So I'm on the fence and I'm gonna tell you I'm on the fence because this is almost $40. $40, $40, no, no, let me not. Y'all, if y'all know that reference, I know y'all do, okay? $40, but this is it here. This is it on my eyelid, which it's okay, but I kind of feel like, let me just double take. No, uh, I think I do like this. It's super pigmented, so it kind of does what I needed to do. And it's reflective, so that's nice. Um, I was a little bit concerned because when I set my face, I was kind of wondering like, did this kind of break up or did it get wet and did it kind of start to move? But I don't think it did. I think it was just me like blending in the other products. So that's cool. Uh, what else? I feel like I really didn't get a chance to use that much from this. Yeah, so that's it. So these boxes were pretty cool. However, um, I'm still a little um, feeling some type of way about the fact that my, my premium box was smaller uh, than and lackluster than my original box, my base box. So I want you guys to know, let me know what you think. Let me give you a refresher. Premium base, what y'all thinking? It's a yes or a no. Should I keep it? If you guys really want me to unbox these for you, I will continue to do that. Um, the only problem for me is I kind of feel like I don't want to be a hoarder. So I already have a lot of makeup that I've purchased on my own outside of subscriptions. And I feel like um, BoxyCharm has actually been giving me stuff that I really don't think that I'll continue to use outside of the palettes. Like eyeshadow palettes. There was a minute like where, I mean, BoxyCharm was on it, but something has changed. I don't know if it's when Etsy and BoxyCharm merged because you know, there was that like uh, purchase, but uh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm kind of on a fence and I did do my shade and this is not a concealer for me. This is not a concealer shade. So um, 
I don't know what's up with that. And I know they can't match 100%, but get a little bit closer because this is the dose of colors that they sent to me, which was a little dark, but a little dark for what I was gonna use it for. This is kind of like a foundation shade for me, but I wasn't mad at it because for a minute I was mixing it. So I don't know how we got from this to this. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. Maybe they just gave me whatever. I don't know. But that's it, y'all. Um, everything I use on my face, um, I've been using in my other videos. So I hope that y'all really, really like this video. Thumbs up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Know how much I love y'all. And I appreciate the support. And um, get into this blue here. Let me get you up close. <laughs> Wow, towel, watch out now. It's the thick one, baby, and it's not, well, it was Bow Wow in the song, but, you know, it's Tay Tay, so, you know, well, I'm gonna tell you, so I hope you guys like this wig. Hope you guys like this makeup look. I am really into, like, this blue face, so this color on my nails may be here to stay, because it's really giving me those, like, mermaid ocean vibes, and it makes me feel happy when I look at them, so I'm trying to surround myself with more and more things that make me feel happy so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video i love you so so much and um tell me what you think about this look tell me what you think about this wig now chill okay tell me what you think girl girl tell me what you think leave it in the comments below and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for the support. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you. Bye.